In this video, we'll talk about a rapid urease test for detecting Helicobacter pylori in a person's stomach. Let's talk about how does this test work. So half of the world population has Helicobacter pylori in their stomach and many cases Helicobacter pylori can lead to serious gastric complication. In this video, we'll try to understand how this test really works. So it's a rapid urease test. That means it's a simple and rapid test. And in this test, the decision is made by color changing. So it's pretty much visual. Let me tell you how. So first of all, your doctor uh, using endoscopy takes out a small portion or a biopsy of your mucosa from your stomach antrum. Then it is transferred to a test strip. And in this test strip, there is a zone which forms a color. Now, if the color is actually red, that means Helicobacter pylori is present. And if the color is yellow, that means Helicobacter pylori is absent. And the test is negative. So let's try to understand what is the basis of this color change and why the color is changing and what does it tell us. So here is how the test is performed. The biopsy sample is provided into the desired region. Generally, the test strip should have a yellowish patch on that. And if the test is positive, then the color would change. This yellow patch should generally contain urea. In a moment, it would be clear. So this particular patch has a particular pH indicator, which is known as phenol red. When it is near to neutral, the color is yellow. That is why generally the color of that strip is yellow. But when the media turns into a basic situation and pH rise up, then the color becomes reddish. And that's what happens in Helicobacter pylori infection. So in the test strip, when you see a red color, that means positive result, you see the bacteria is present. This bacteria actually produce one enzyme, which is known as urease that can convert urea into ammonia. Ammonia is kind of basic. That is why whenever the bacteria is present, urea's enzyme is present and urea gets converted into ammonia. That is why the color is turned into red and that means the test is positive. In contrast, when the Helicobacter pylori is not present, urea's enzyme is not present, so urea is not getting converted into ammonia. So it's kind of like in a neutral stage. That's why the test is now negative and that's why you see a yellow patch, not a red patch. So let us try to understand the infection and the biology behind that in a bit more details to understand the test and the treatment in a better fashion. So Helicobacter pylori enters your body through uh, and kind of attacks the lining of your stomach. It can enter your body via food, water, etc. So the layers are actually protected by a thick layer of mucosa. And let's see what happens when Helicobacter pylori infects. It creates ulcer in the stomach. Now the gastric mucosa secretes thick mucus. And in top of that, there is gastric HCL. And this kind of protective layer ensures majority of the bacteria dies in this extremely, extremely acidic environment. But Helicobacter pylori has this enzyme known as urease, which can actually prevent or buffer this kind of extreme uh, level of P ex extreme lower pH in the stomach. So urease converts urea into ammonia and that's the basis of this test and that kind of neutralizes the excessive acidity in the stomach. Now there are other molecules which help these bacteria to get attached to the stomach wall and the flagella that is present in this bacteria helps it to propagate and do the chemotic taxis and get attached to this particular uh, stomach wall. And there are other toxins that are secreted by the bacteria which leads to serious damage to the mucosal lining. It actually can lead to a huge inflammatory response and also can lead to apoptosis of these cells. Anyway, we understand the biology in bit more details. But let us try to understand the false positive result. 
Sometimes you see this red color formation, but it does not always ensure that your test result is positive. Because if you are consuming a drug which reduces the acidity of the stomach, and that can possibly contribute to the false positive result because then the mucosal uh, biopsy would have an alkaline kind of situation that converts the color in this particular test strip into reddish situation which is indicative of a positive test result but in this case it's a false positive result so i hope this video was useful anyway the treatment of helicobacter pylori can be done with the help of proper antibiotics and uh, your doctor can prescribe all of these antibiotics so if you think you are positive to this particular test do consult a doctor all the notes regarding these topics would be found in my facebook page don't forget to like share and subscribe and you can support my channel on patreon if you are a indian viewer you can subscribe to my unacademy uh, courses using my code ap10 you can get a 10 percent discount see you in next video do let me know in the video whether it is useful or not thank you